So we can see just in terms of lines of code I changed in this one file, this is what's been modified um, here. I didn't remember that I committed any of those changes. That's weird. Okay, anyway. Um, what I need to figure out is how do I get the AI AI games to automatically play? Um, so, like, here I've got on the game start, do all these things. That's uh, all commented out because I don't think that worked. Um, um, I've got creation of games using AI play. You know, let me look at this. It's been forever since I've last immersed myself in this code. Um, this code is in auto pairing dot scala. Actually, I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, so where's my comment? Um, oh, there's this on start block. Yeah, there we are. Let's uncomment that. Go back and say compile the change and see, like, actually, I shouldn't need to type that out. I could just try to refresh uh, the page from the browser, which will just compile just the changed uh, code as opposed to what I just did, which compiles everything. Still, uh, this should be interesting. This only compiles the changed file. I did not know that. Okay. Uh, follow this method with underscore if I want to treat it as a partially applied function. Okay. I don't know if that's what I want. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see, where did I grab this from? I know I definitely grabbed this from somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wait. Okay, I did not know that code was it's twice in this file. Uh, if it is twice in this file, then it's probably redundant in one of those cases. Um, schedule idle check. Okay. Yeah, now I need some way of getting the game ID out of the game. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Game2.id is definitely a thing. Let's try refreshing this page and that should try trigger an automatic recompilation. Um, I mean, I can see that the icon's spinning, indicating that something's happening. I don't know what. Okay. Um, for those curious, uh, 
And I don't know if I have to change directory each time I do this compile command, but for those curious, we got this, uh, this single error message. Follow this with underscore if you want to treat it as a partially applied function. I'm assuming that I do. Um, missing arguments for method in trait with future. Hmm. <laughs> so I think that says that I can't use that function unless I give the trait that allows it to um, be future applied. Uh, let's see. How do people generally use this thing? Uh, if I just search through the... Okay. Uh, if I remember right, sometimes you do use capital FU. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, hmm. I'm not sure. Is there? I'm not sure at all. Because I thought this um, this particular method was something invented in this code base that meant in the future return success or return a future success. Um, and yet the exception or the error I'm getting is that missing arguments for method f u c c e s s uh, in trait with future? Okay, maybe I need to look for the definition of this, and maybe there's something specific to. Oops, that's not going to work. Maybe there's something specific to this particular function. Yeah, okay, so it needs an argument. Um. <laughs> okay, it returns either none or true or false or some kind of object in its argument. Um. So how does that work in this other case where I'm using that same function? What's going on? Um, so, oh, I'm not using that same function. That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, is there a single example I can follow here? Um, hmm. I could do fold. Right. So this is <clears throat> so you see underscore dot fold and then it applies the function there. Um so how do I do a similar application of the function? That's where I'm confused. Yeah, yep, yep. So I'm so confused. Game two, player is human, fold. Okay. But 
that's the only other application of the function here. Um, I admit that I'm not entirely uh, familiar with scale syntax. And so this is just a little bit tricky for me. I mean, I guess I could follow the hint. Uh, I just hate doing something and then not having any idea why. So follow this method with underscore if you want to treat it as a partially applied function. I've done a little bit of reading about what partially applied functions are in Scala, and I don't see any reason not to. Um, I mean, what I'm returning here I think is a void type anyhow, so it probably doesn't matter, but that's really weird syntax for sure. Uh, also, can I do compile in this directory? Or do I have to go way back up to the... Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I have to go back here. It compiled. Well, that was the least probable outcome. Um, just because this particular code base is way out of my comfort zone. Um, but OK, so uh, we can take a look at what I've changed. Um, so yeah, I've added this. Apparently, I've this is not just a chain of functions, but the way Scala thinks of this is a partially applied function. But basically what I'm hoping this means is that each time a game starts, an AI player is going to make a move. That's probably not going to be enough to continue AI moves being made throughout the game, but at least it will work as a proof of concept that... Um, I can make AI players move. I'll see just how well or how poorly it works in a minute. But um, my previous attempt here, which is just latching on to some other code that was designed to do something completely different, um, this attempt did not work at all. So. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to refresh. Hopefully it'll be there any minute now. Any minute. Well, at least I can see it's still compiling. Um, don't know why it takes so long to compile. I must have really messed something up. 